Well, thank you very much. Uh, on our behalf, on behalf of the ICD and on behalf of ETA, uh, I would like to thank uh, the mayor for his welcoming words, for his informative words and entertaining words, but above all, his welcoming uh, uh, words uh, to us. Now, I was meant to make uh, a speech here tonight, but I'm not going to do that. I will combine in one uh, my welcoming words, uh, my, my, my words of gratitude, rather, to the mayor of Reykjavik and uh, an explanatory note on who we are and why we uh, are here uh, under the heading of the Reykjavik uh, Round Table on uh, Human Rights. Now, the enormity of our discussion themes. Uh, if, you, if you look at the enormity of our discussion themes, we seem very small. We are a small uh, gathering, but here in Iceland we are used to uh, make use of the rule of relativity. We are small, we are a little nation, but we know that small can be big, and big can be small, given the circumstances. And this reminds me of a little story I heard uh, a week ago in Strasbourg when I was uh, listening to uh, some, I would almost say, divine people, one from South Africa, Esam Musa, uh, uh, and uh, from Britain, Father Joe Ryan, a Catholic priest in Westminster, Fabian. I can't remember who it was who told this little story, but it was about a forest fire. And all the animals in the forest were trying to quench the fire. The uh, little hummingbird could only carry little drops of water, while the big elephant could take uh, large amounts of water in his trunk and quench the fire. And some of the animals laughed at the little hummingbird and said, you only manage these little drops. And then the hummingbird said, I am doing what I can. And sometimes the effort is so important. And uh, why are we here? We are not elephants. We are not uh, hummingbirds, but we are a number of people from different, who are approaching uh, human rights from different angles. <coughs> we have academics, we have professors, we have uh, politicians, the former foreign minister of Iceland, the former foreign minister of Afghanistan. We have people from the labor movement. Rosa Pavanelli is the leader of the in my mind, most important uh, trade union movement in the world, the Public Services International. We have people who experience human rights and struggle for human rights on their own body. We have Mandonesa from South Africa. And we have Faik from, uh, from Turkey, from, uh, uh, from the Kurdish uh, parts of, of uh, Turkey. We have NGOs, we have ACAS here, Maharaj, from the Global uh, Union of uh, Parliamentarians, uh, parliamentarians uh, fighting against uh, uh, corruption. And of course, I am forgetting many people. Here is the, is, the, is the Labour spokesman, shadow spokesman on foreign affairs, Fabian uh, Hamilton. Now, here, since I look over there, a former Prime Minister of Kyrgyzstan, and I Googled him. He's a scientist, <laughs> and he was called to Kyrgyzstan to become uh, prime minister when their country was in trouble. And Google hearsay said when he resigned, he is resigning because he is incorruptible, <laughs> and uh, he wants to stay out of uh, politics. I am, I'm missing a lot of people who are here. It's dangerous when you start to mention uh, uh, names. Julia Zeputinde. Uh, is uh, a judge in the in the in the uh, court of justice in in in, 
in the Hague. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop with this, all this name dropping. But what are we doing? We are looking at one basic theme, and it is this. How do we bridge the ever-widening gap between good intentions and conventions on human rights, on the one hand, and the harsh realities of power politics and the real world on the other? How do we do that? And we are going to discuss this from various angles. What will come out of this? Hopefully some information, but above all, inspiration. Inspiration, as I was inspired by Father Ryan and the Esa Musa the other day in Strasbourg. Again, I want to reiterate my thanks and gratitude to the mayor of Reykjavik for receiving us uh, so well, so generously. Thank you very much for this reception and by these words I start the roundtable on human rights in Reykjavik. Welcome. <coughs> Without further words, I think we should proceed with food, some more drinks, and enjoy the incredible company you have here, yourselves. <laughs> Can you please Thank you. tell us where did they sit, sit the Grand Dog to build the museum? Uh, you can see it actually on a picture on the wall there. Yes. They sat in those very chairs. You can even try them. <laughs> but I will just tell you one thing. It is so dangerous when you start mentioning name, names. <laughs> I didn't even see Thomas Hammerberg here, the leader of head of Amnesty International, receiving the Nobel Prize some years ago, and heading <laughs> and heading human rights at the, in the Council of Europe. I'm not going to say any more. <laughs>